Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Good streak, decent streak. Some of these are from the stream earlier today, but for now, we are going to random. Gotta slow it down, been playing a lot of Nuclear Throne lately. Nuclear Throne is fast. Isaac is a little slower, at the very least. Y9J7, Q678. As Samson, decent starting damage, of course. A tinted rock right off the bat. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I forget how much HP we have, though. In vanilla, we had one and one. Like, one red heart, one spirit heart. I have no idea what we have now. I certainly hope it's better than that. Maybe we can get a bomb in here. Ooh, that's... <laughs> it's interesting. Eve's Mascara, I've still not fully decided how I feel about it, but I take it every time... Hoping, perhaps, I guess, if nothing else, that it'll resolve itself, and I'll be like, oh, okay, I understand never to take this. It keeps your DPS the same, but distributes it in a different way, but it also lowers your shot speed and therefore your effective range. Is it worth it? I don't know, man. Why you gotta ask me all these questions? You should take this to somebody who knows a little bit more about what they're talking about. So, I'm extremely happy I went through here. Pick up a net profit of three extra spirit arts, which puts us in a nice position moving forward. Still got to two-shot those spiders, so... Not feeling fantastic about our damage so far, but... Uh, I don't know. If we can get a really nice rate of fire, like almost to the maximum, or a cancer trinket, I think I could be okay with Eve's Mascara. It's just, it's the kind of thing that I kind of prefer when it happens in the late game, because in the early game... I guess you could make a case for it both ways, but in the early game, I'm like, well... You know, I don't really have anything to compensate for this. In the late game, I'm like, I'll take everything! I don't care what it is. I would really, really like to be able to get more than, uh... Five cents on this floor. An arcade, of course. You know, I've talked about it... 232,000 times while playing as Samson. But an arcade is so useful... For that possible, like, IV bag meta. Try to actually land the shots on the Widow. With Eve's Mascara, we don't have the luxury of firing a lot. So I would rather get, uh, if possible, the Widow to destroy his own minions. But it looks like it's going to go fine anyway. We're kind of lucky to be fighting an enemy with relatively low HP. That will finish the job there. Probably three shot these. One, two, three. And a toothpicks pickup is actually quite nice. I think we're going to leave. There's not much we can do to get more money. There was a little bit of poop, a little bit of fire. But it's probably unlikely that they would pay out. How do we have... You start with three HP as Samson now? Three HP, no spirit hearts? I'm surprised I remember that, to be honest with you. But, uh... Well, not remember. I'm surprised I forgot that, to be honest. I'm surprised I don't remember. Um, but I guess that's not a huge surprise. Still got, you know, vanilla on the brain from time to time. Operation. We're going to be at uh, a stupid level here of spirit hearts. And enough keys to feel very secure that we can continue to get ourselves up to that next level of competence. Ghost Baby. Best thing about Ghost Baby, say it with me, 3, 2, 1, it won't show up. Yeah, you got it. It won't show up in the Devil Room anymore. So I'm excited by that, I'm excited for that, and I'm excited to get on with my freaking life here. Are you a Yolandi wizard? Uh, in a weird way, this is not, it's not good, but it's not so bad. Because of Eve's Mascara, I know where my shots are going to be, and I can time them kind of appropriately. Uh, it, it's still not good. We're gonna wait until it wears off before we go fight our boss. But I'm excited for this deal with the devil, you know. Got ourselves set up pretty nicely here early on. Still have not been hit except, uh, entering and leaving the curse room, I think. Three thirds. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Didn't waste too much time. And a monstro fight is nothing to sneeze at. What is... I don't understand that. I think I've talked about this idiom. English idioms are like one of my favorite topics for discussion because it's really something you can go into with a lot of ignorance and then make a lot of conversation about. I'm gonna pull back the veil. There's probably some, you know, linguistics professors out there shaking their head or something like that, but nothing to sneeze at. Was that, was sneezing ever a sign of disrespect? Like, I don't need to care about this. I sneeze at it. Our shot speed is gonna make our range so low. Yeah, it's like two body lengths in front of us. Goathead, Guppy's head, and Sister Maggie. I'm gonna take all of them. Um, Sister Maggie might be a little overkill, but I'm taking it because we, uh... Well, any, with, with our effective range being so low, anything that we can do to, uh... You know, up the speed at which we can... Uh, kill enemies without being right next to them is great in my book. And of course, the guppy pickup is just a no-brainer. 
Still not exactly what I'm hoping to get out of this run, but it's it's a very interesting start to say the least. We've had more interesting starts, but this one's it's interesting as well. So we're gonna be at four HP here. No, no, we're not. I thought I was gonna be at four cents. What was going on in my brain during the last half second there? Uh, we could go to our shop, shoot the fires, hope for a two cent payout, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Financially, we're still in a bit of a tough spot. Hopefully, we can get an arcade in the future. Even if we don't want to get rid of Guppy's head, it's a pretty good spacebar item. Even if we don't want to get rid of Guppy's head, though, we'll we'll want to, you know, have the ability to flex our muscles a bit and pick up something with our financial boon from there. What's the point of having red hearts with a bunch of spirit hearts protecting them if you can't really use them? Well, the point is you can get deals with the devil. But what's what's the point if you can't get something a little extra in addition to it, right? Hopefully, hopefully, I'm right on that. All right, you should be one hit away. I hit too many of them for that to uh, take as long as it did. Can get in there and uh, secret there. This was, it wasn't an XL floor. It must be Curse of the Lost because we can't see where we're going, obviously. That's pretty much what I'm hoping for. It does suck that the shovel was our pickup here. It's a bad deal with the devil. And I'm not going to want to waste the HP for it. There are some situations where I would, like if it would allow us to get into a boss trap room. And I was one guppy item away, and I had enough HP that, it, like, spirit heart wise, that it wasn't a big deal. Like, that almost sounds eerily similar to this situation, but it's not a huge deal either way right now. Um, I just think, because it's a space bar item, I can't really justify it. It's only going to be useful once. Unless I want to get rid of Guppy's head, in which case, Guppy's head was not as useful as it could be. So I think it's kind of shitty that way. Red hearts that we can't do shit with. I was really hoping, the, the ones that spawn the flies that help you and the ones that spawn the bullets that hurt you look so close together that it's very annoying. You get close, thinking it's flies, it's bullets. You stay far away, thinking it's bullets, it's flies. We're upping our damage a little bit here though. Um, what I'm, we have already been there. What I'm hoping for here is tiers upgrades. If I can get some tiers upgrades, that would be amazing for me. You know, we've already made our bed with respect to uh, Eve's Mascara, and now it's our time to lie in it. It would be a much comfier bed, you know, think about the, the thread count of the sheets as increasing if we just picked up some tiers upgrades that made this a little easier. Alright, but we've already been down there. No bombs. And this is a run that could go sour pretty quickly. I think this floor we're gonna be fine, I mean, it, you know, we're gonna be two-shotting these enemies and... Eve's Mascara is actually, it, Guppy's head benefits from Eve's Mascara is what I'm trying to say. You know, by, by upping our damage stat, the flies are consistent, you know, they're not variable with our rate of fire right now, so we can be content to have as many of those as possible. And, uh, or sorry, to have those do as much damage as possible. And we're getting a little damage bonus here, but that's not really what I'm hoping for. I am hoping to uh, not have to worry about that. So stupid of me. Let's, the anatomy of a shit play would be a great breakdown to have right there. You know, have Michael Wallace talk about how everything went wrong. What went wrong there is uh, I tried to be smart and I knew the enemy was going to die. So let's pick up the battery and get another charge on Guppy's head before the enemy dies. So I can get two charges on Guppy's head. Instead, I end up getting hit in the process and the rest, as they say, is history. Not a great Michael Wallace impression, but that's okay. Even more dumb damage. Sounds like I'm selling tapes on uh, pay-per-view television networks. Pay-per-view tapes on, on free-to-play television networks. Suburban kids with biblical names. Okay, just get yourself a little something-something, buddy. We finally found our item room, and it contains Abel. Who's that guy always getting your hopes up? Could be anything, maybe not shit. His existence is anything but fabled. Everyone knows it's Abel. That's me. Alright. 14 cents. Finally gives us the opportunity to maybe get something from our shop. And I'm just gonna be content to buy the Spirit Hearts in the hopes of getting an arcade on the next floor. We still have a key available for the next floor as well. Alright, we're lucky. The Hollow is gonna be an easy get for us. Might take a hit in the process. Did you see how many shots they fired there at the end? That was a little ridiculous. Get an HP upgrade. That's the shovel again, of course, and we'll head down to the next floor. Definitely way ahead of the curve uh, on timing at the very least. But apart from that, a little bit behind the curve, I think, on damage. Very lucky this doesn't happen that often. My fly was smart enough 
to not actually uh, attack the enemy, which is just like basically pure chance, I think, but it worked out fantastically for us. If it attacked the enemy, it definitely would have exploded in our face. Scissors is a bad item, in my opinion. In my spaghetti. We're gonna just keep moving it down here. Pheromones, probably not necessary on this room, but it did clear out the enemies faster. Um, and that probably better than using it on this room where it's gonna be easy enough anyway. Drop a quick bomb in there, see if we can pick up a magic mushroom or uh, at least a used copy of Magic Mike. Puberty, it's not that bad. And here a font is great, but that wasn't really based on our use of consumables. Ideally, I'd like to build a fly army, but we... Oh, that was very close. We can't make it happen uh, without 9 volt, basically. Or without having so much damage that we don't need our flies to kill... At least all of our flies to kill something on every single room. We can't kill enemies before our flies do right now. I didn't hear anything drop there. Um, and that's not that big of a problem. You know, it's a, it's a quality problem to have. Our flies are good. They're better than our tears are. But we can't... Uh, we can't generate more than we're using. You know, we're, we're pretty much at equilibrium here, which is the unfortunate part. There we go. There we go. There we go. Our speed's not that amazing, but uh, kept him at bay here. Only got hit once. I'm happy with that. Now, what did I use my key for? Oh, I already went to the item room, right. And it was scissors. I've purged it from my memory already because I was so disappointed with it. One bomb. Gotta be finding something up here, and I had a feeling this would be it. Little Chad. Never gonna poo-poo little Chad. Not anymore. He's bad by himself, but sometimes helps out. This is not meant to be a, a rhyme. It didn't even really rhyme. It just kind of had a similar cadence. He's bad by himself, but sometimes helps out. But the principal advantage is from... When Chad and his friend, Dark Bum, get to... God, I was trying to get a, like a verse in there. And that time I was actually trying to rhyme and I fucked it up. Goathead paying out for us, of course, and... Satanic Bible. Satanic Bible is great without question. Is it worth two red hearts in our current situation? I would say no. We already have a decent, if not great, spacebar item in the form of Guppy's Paw. If we had gotten Satanic Bible right there, that would have been nice. I can understand why you would be mad that I didn't do that. Um, there was something that dropped in here, actually. Trying to think. I mean, we could always go back for Satanic Bible if we want to, but mostly, I'm I'm still holding out hope that we get you know get the uh, IV bag, and if we get the IV bag, it would be good. I would li really like to replace uh, Guppy's head with it and keep some HP. So the more HP we have when we get IV bag, the better. And with little uh, little Chad here, we could really have a, a nice ceiling to kind of work with on our, our health as well. Although, if we'd taken Satanic Bible, we'd be able to go into this room. However, I'm not salty about that. I'm more salty... This is an interesting room. See variations on it from time to time. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that one specifically. Um, I would be hoping to get an arcade on this floor. And as a result, you know, just be able to get into that room anyway. But that does not happen yet. Much to my chagrin. No, a curse room, though. Nothing wrong with it, but it's not specifically what I was looking for. Now there's something wrong with it. It's full of spiders. How often do you clean this place? This is disgusting. We gotta get you on A&E. Get another key out of it. Uh, without any bombs... Oh, we do have a bomb. That's correct, right here. Alright, I'll tell you what. We'll, uh... Not use it there. We'll go to our shop. We can always blow up our donation machine and the the man in the middle if we have to. Or we could just fight greed instead, which is also fine. And then we could use our bomb for whatever the F we want. If we want to farm for magic mushroom, fine. If we don't want to farm for magic mushroom, fine. It's all good either way. And we're slowing down a little bit. We were like three minutes ahead. Well, we were like a minute and a half ahead. When we leave this floor, we're going to be like 45 seconds ahead. That's not going to do it for me. Hmm. Could be good though. 48 hour energy. Health down. Liberty cap. Okay, alright. Um, do I want to trade two red hearts for three black hearts? I think there's a case to be made. It won't be three black cards, it could just be two black cards, but we'll be in the permanent Polaroid invincibility. Uh, it's, it's novel. Let's try it. 
Don't hit me. All right, so we did get three black hearts out of it, but I want to stick with Guppy's head here. I I don't I don't really know what was going through my head as I did that, except this is interesting. So let's try it. Um, obviously, we paid a premium over what you'd expect for like Guppy's paw or something like that, but we also got black hearts and. We took a book out of the rotation. That's unlikely to be that meaningful, but, you know, it's something, I guess. It was weird. I like that. I don't know. That might that might have been a net terrible decision, but we'll find out later, maybe, if we really need HP. But in the meantime, that's my way of protesting that the game refuses to give us an arcade. You're not going to give me an arcade? Fine, I'm going to get rid of my fucking red hearts. If I'm not going to be able to do anything with Bloody Lust anyway, you know, what's the point of keeping them? Might as well replace them with black hearts that at least give me a way to deal extra damage to the enemies. Don't really want the tick. Don't really not want the tick, but I don't really want the tick. That's bad damage on my part. Ah. Ah, blew it a little bit. We'll go back for that penny. At least we got something out of it, but... Would have been awesome to get, uh... That nickel. Although, financially, we're doing fine, so what do we care? Better to not complain about stuff that has, like, no bearing on the actual performance at all. That's not that big of an issue. Can't use our key to accomplish anything there. Alright, we'll be moving on then. Little disappointed that we haven't really managed to snag that much momentum moving forward here. And what scares me is the inevitability of the Krampus tax and then XL floors. Like, it's always nice peace of mind to get an early deal with the Devil Payout because then you get an early good deal with the Devil Payout. You don't have to worry about Krampus tax and XL floors showing up later and completely fucking up your shit, you know? That's kind of the situation we are in right now is, uh... I can't really get out of our situation if the, a couple of dice rolls go the wrong way. If we get an XL floor on the womb, or the next floor for that matter, uh, we find ourselves in a tricky spot. If we get a deal with the devil that gives us Krampus, which we would expect to have happen, we would really like it to be good or it puts us in a tricky spot. Like it would, it would have to be lump of coal maybe. Although we could make a case for Krampus instead, but let's, let's not get too down on ourselves. Let's cross that bridge when we come to it, you know? Can't live your whole life and in fear and anxiety of what the next, uh, you know, big problem is going to be. You can, many people do, but it's, uh, what's well, like a real psychological concern. Should, if you, uh, if you feel like that, you should seriously, uh, you know, don't listen to people who are just like, oh, don't be such a worry ward, you know, go, go get it checked out, man. Go talk to somebody if you can. And if you can't, make sure that you really can't before you say that you can't. There is no way we are rolling with Isaac's heart here. That's just a fucking disaster item waiting to happen. Um, we're still very much in this. It's not a bad run. The goat head pickup is keeping our hopes up, even though I talked about the fact that it might end up, you know, not working out for us in the future as a result of the Krampus tax, but XL floors as well. For now, though, happy with it. Just stay strong while you're dodging, and we got a lot of HP, so we're not giving up on that yet. Just a, yet another floor, unfortunately. Kind of shitty shop, shitty item room. It's becoming a little bit endemic. Mask of Infamy. Mask of Infamy with uh, no bombs and no range bothers me a little bit. This could be a problem. Not too disappointed by our damage thus far. Okay. How are we going to get this guy? Our shot speed is so slow. I really think that like pretty much the only thing we can do is like goad him. Ugh. Not goat like goat head. Goat like G-O-A-D. And then we gotta like dodge directly behind him to sneak in some shots. And even if our familiars do something, like, that's fine, man. Blackheart, very helpful there. We're getting some damage bonuses. We're gonna lose them immediately because I'm gonna be heading down to the next floor. I don't see much point in exploring the rest of this floor. Familiars! Help. Help. Help me. Oh, come on. There we go, finally. All right, good deal with the devil. Good deal with the devil. It's Krampus. Had to happen, but that's all right. We picked up a speed upgrade. Now we got the Krampus tax out of the way. Better than just getting three red chests with no items. Of course, you know, what isn't, but... It's good. Krampus' head. I think I almost got to go with it here. Without a hive mind or anything like that. And I know we're skipping some rooms. We went to item room and shop. I know we're skipping some rooms. It's not to get the boss rush. It's just because I worry that we're going to run out of spirit hearts if I uh, 
if I have to roll like this forever. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take it. And I'm gonna take store credit as well. You know what? No, I'm not. We don't need store credit. Bob's brain could be huge. It gives us range, it gives us damage. Um, I guess there's no real reason not to take store credit. We can always come back for Liberty Cap. But it's our last floor for, like, finances being probably apparent or important anyway. Although I guess, you know, that's not true because we could have a, uh, a judgment or something show up later. Of course, there's always the off chance of a money equals power minus touch. Blah, 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 blah. But um, the odds of it are bad. Made it out of there. It, like, directly thanks to Bob's brain. We're probably going to take damage as a result of Bob's brain um, over the course of the run. Absolutely. Wouldn't even try to deny that. That's part of the charm, <laughs> I suppose. I really thought we'd sneak it in there. A little scary. Didn't land a Bob's brain shot, but that means we've got one stored up. I'd rather not use it now. Ah, oh, whatever. We got it done. Changed my tune pretty quickly when it ended up working out in our favor. Okay. Hang back. Orbital territory. These guys are pretty weak. And when Bob's brain comes in, just a one dick death punch there. Master of Unlocking could be good, but, you know, without Guppy's tail, I wouldn't be expecting that many golden chests. Stranger things have happened. Thank God for Bob's brain on this run, man. For real. Um, We have golden keys, so we might as well at least use them all. It's going to give us kind of like the compass effect here. Or the map effect, sorry. No real need to use that, but you get the idea. It's a shame that these books are, are kind of not good. No insult really meant to them. Um, but yeah, we're not going to really get much benefit out of them. Not right now, anyway. Good room for Krampus's head, man, honestly. Help, help. I'm not going to be able to use Krampus. Oh, that's so bad. I'm not going to be able to use Krampus's head here, but so be it. Red Heart doesn't do anything for us. Um, okay, shop time. Had a feeling this might happen. I don't think it's worth using Krampus' head for Super Greed. One Bob's Brain hit will do a lot of damage if it lands. Oh, I missed. I missed multiple times. That one's good. We'll take the quarter. Lots of money. Money is funny. And thank God I took store credit. <laughs> not salty about it. It's not, it's not the game's fault that this ended up working out this way, but... Okay. I guess we'll go back. This is, uh, you know, we talk about those runs where it's like, wow, how amazing. I guess we'll try this in case we get Guppy's, Guppy's tail. Um, how amazing is it that we didn't get to do Boss Rush? Book of Shadows could be good here, but how amazing is it that we didn't get to do Boss Rush, but we beat the game in 24 minutes? That's incredible. This is like the exact opposite of that, which is like, man, I can't believe we got through the Caves Part 1 in like 8-something, and now we're here at like 20 minutes. Not even close to finishing up the uh, the depths part two. It's like a, we've fallen off in a huge way. Emperor card is good. So how do we do this shit? Well, I would not mind picking up an HP upgrade if we have to, or if we want to, for that matter. Watch out, man! Bob's brain is gonna blow this guy sky effing high. There we go. Please don't pay out with that stuff. I guess I'm gonna stop playing this guy because. It's just too dangerous. Come on. Come on. There we go. HP upgrade. Then, we're going to do a little... Ah, oh, that was dumb. That one was better. We're going to do a little of this bouncing about here. The hope being that we can get a payout from both of them. One of them being IV bag. The other one being, you know, whatever his deal with the devil uh, the heart tells him is the right thing to pay out with. Be happy with it either way. Half red heart there. Um, we can't fight the boss yet. I have to try to get the item room. If I don't, I'm, you know, putting myself so far behind the eight ball that I can't blame anything but myself for losing this run. That being said, we have had some really shitty item rooms and some really shitty shops and some deals with the devil I haven't been particularly fond of. 
we made it, albeit potentially just barely. I know we could play the Demon Judgment twice instead of playing the, uh, mm, instead of playing the, uh, Blood Bank once and the Demon Judgment once. And long term, that is probably the better option. Because you'll get one third more plays, or maybe 50% more plays if you run the math in that direction. But, uh, I'm not gonna do it because I, I want to give them equal chance right now. And I would very, very much like to get the IV bag. Like, if I didn't want the IV bag at all, I'd go full, uh, full demon judgment, as I so often do. Unlimited keys means we're definitely going to take advantage of that room. Just wanted to play it safe there. Now, we have given ourselves a really nice damage bonus on this floor. I totally forgot about that, but yeah, that's that's a factor. And I am I could get attached to this level of damage. Save Krampus' head for the mom fight just to make my life easier. And as you can see, our damage is looking pretty great right now. Good stuff. Yeah, damage is looking real good. We need to find a way to keep it there. This is not so bad. Butt bombs are not great, but they're not awful. We're in a couple of different red heart situations going on down there. Uh, we will look for our secret room. That looks like a template to me. It was indeed. Just more money. It's a pretty disappointing payout, honestly, right there. I'm not thrilled about it. Well, let's try this on for size. Maybe we'll get lucky. I'm just going to blow this up. Wow, not even any red hearts. Okay, all right. You can do it. I believe in you, Demon Judgment Blood Bank. I know what you're thinking. What's this super genius doing? Hey, that's pretty good, actually. Um, I'm, I'm testing my luck is exactly what I'm doing. Now that was dumb. The move before was questionable. That one was idiotic. Um, we do, at this point, probably want to look at something like Book of Shadows. We'll take Book of Shadows into the room temporarily. You could argue we should have done that earlier, and your argument would be very sound, I think. I think you would be, and you'd have a leg to stand on in, in said argument. Losing two Spirit Hearts for a bad gas pill is a huge disappointment. But at the same time, if we lose this run, I don't know how you come out with a win on it. I'm still going to try this, just to see. I really don't know how you come out with a win on this one. Just, I guess, don't get hit as much, and then hope that something works out for you in the future. Come on, come on. I didn't want to risk it. Two of hearts, two of diamonds. Two of diamonds, you've been out too long in the midnight sea. Emperor card. Um, alright, alright. Red hearts. Burnt penny. A burnt penny. I feel like I gotta go hard on the blood bank. I'm sorry, Demon Judgment. I really would. <sighs> All right. All right. Krampus' head. Look, I'm not. I'm gonna be the first to tell you I've made mistakes on this run. This run's not over, by the way. But I, I'll be the first to tell you I've made mistakes on this run. I'm not, uh, I'm not innocent like Britney Spears from, uh, not immune to, from the mistakes that I've made. And I've lost a lot of spirit hearts on gambles that most people will probably consider not that good. However, this has been a surprisingly tricky run. Only reason I'm taking, uh, you know, butt bombs kind of looks like the mugshot of, not mugshot, but like the headshot of Radim Verbata, Canucks player. Anyway, um... All we can really do is try to try to make it work with a, a good deal with the devil here, which is what I'm hoping for with Judas's tongue. You know, it allows us to guaranteed pretty much take whatever we want from a deal. The only question is whether or not the deal actually will ha present enough for us to be able to take. Uh, and I think we have to go pretty hard on this one. And you may disagree with that choice, and I think that there's a good case to be made for disagreeing with it. But sacrificial dagger with permanent Polaroid invincibil invincibility is so good, and. We're going to Emperor card right away, because I think we got to get through it. Um, Guppy's Tail, of course, gives us the chance to become Guppy, and also the chance to have some upward mobility. 
Just make sure you're landing those shots at least. The chance to have some upward mobility with respect to uh, golden chests if we can get him. Kind of relying on uh, a little bit more potency. Oh, what the? Is that Bob's brain that came back at like exactly the wrong time? Or do Skolex's shots explode? They oh fuck! Don't die to Skolex, dog. Magic mushroom. Ah <sighs> oh, yes, you Pandora's box. It gives us health. She dips beneath the lasers. Little Steven, no. Jesus juice, yes. Oh, left or right, left. Yes. We gotta live though. <laughs> I don't know if I would have preferred Guppy or Brimstone at this point. Guppy's head, maybe. All right, we gotta get some HP back, man. So we'll blow you up. This is how we come out of this one, for sure. Just figured... Oh my god, fuck everything in that room. Red chest, spirit hearts. Guppy, oh, nine lives! We're Guppy! We're Guppy, we got Brimstone. Oh shit, oh shit, we did it. We threw it all at the wall. And admittedly got incredibly lucky, but at the same time fucking did it, dog. Oh my god, we're gonna win. Ooh, baby, I love you way. You don't wanna get what he's a northern line lucky. Not a great singer, I apologize. More of a try to be a statesman, but uh Might as well. Just insanely, insanely good luck. Uh Everyone's gonna focus on the good luck that we got there and completely forget about, you know, oh, that was dumb. Uh, the bad luck that led us to that situation. Bad luck and bad play, but you know, it's hard to blame it all on bad play when there just weren't the items that we needed in the rotation, but we definitely were handsomely rewarded uh, soon after. Which is gonna give us uh, a, an easy win. Even if we take a bunch of damage, even if we lose a bunch of lives, even if we use a bunch, a bunch of times, a word that most speakers would be like, hey, don't use that word, it sucks. Alright. Well, at this point, the tension went from like 100, or well, let's start a little back. It went from like 60 to 100 to zero in like an instant, in a few rooms. And it really was like a, just a couple of rooms, so. I'm thrilled about this. I'm I'm having a great time. That's that's what you know games are all about, man. Well, not entirely, but that's what some games are all about. Those moments where you're able to do the unthinkable. It's not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep coming. Uh, probably it's up there for easiest mom's hard fight I've ever had. We're still not getting much damage bonus from Bloody Lust, but this is going to be one of those fucking runs. The exact run I was talking about. We're like, can you believe we didn't get boss rush, but we still beat the game in like under 30 minutes? We're not going to beat it in under 30 minutes, but we also didn't get down to the next floor. Like, the, we didn't get to boss rush, technically, until like fucking, I don't even know, maybe like 20, 25, 26? Okay, we should start saving some keys here. I was getting a little out of control. Joker card. We can't take credit and Joker in with us, I believe. And you know what? I know that this is going to seem sketchy, but we got to take Dark Bomb with us. Um, and the reason we have to take Dark Bomb with us is because we have a little chat. I was talking about it earlier, and I haven't forgot about you in my position of relative uh, affluence now. I want you to know that. So, Dark Bomb, any red hearts that you can scrounge up belong to you. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time, be productive, be merry, make a life here. Oh, don't open that. I've, I've opened too many. We're down to one key. We gotta be, oh, we gotta be getting close to our boss fight now. Yeah, we're probably looking at like a 35 minute long run. That's pretty good, man. Like that's a below average amount of time and we were going real slow. We were making pretty much no progress. <laughs> Krampus's head, by the way, is fan f fantastic with Guppy. Generates flies on its own, allowing us to there before, like, probably beat Isaac and Blue Baby. I don't want to say instantly, but in, you know, very quick succession, one way or the other. Open one of them. Can't really afford to take Tech 2, I'm sorry. I don't think people want to see me take Tech 2 anyway. The 
general consensus seems to be that Tech 2 is an item that uh, sucks and it's for people who suck. No offense. I take it all the time. You just embrace it. I know Dark Bomb could pay out, but we're, we're getting to that point, and it is hubris, but we are getting to that point where it's like, what do we need Dark Bomb to pay out for? Like, if it's convenient for us, cool. If not, then, then why even bother? Because we're probably not going to need the HP. He was nice enough to get that one in a timely fashion. Duke of Flies has absolutely no chance of survival. Didn't want to kill them with Krampus' head, just wanted to give them enough damage to, uh... We got fly spiders. Just wanted to give them enough flies to, to result in their death. That way they can't be pinned on us, it's the perfect crime, Decemberist style. Alright, what do you got for me? Uh, absolutely nothing, say it again, I appreciate it. Why even bother picking up Dark Bum if uh, we're not gonna use the Spirit Hearts? If we're not gonna let it pick up, you know, do what it does? Maybe we will. Maybe we will need those hearts at some point. They'll always be back there for us. I can't believe I opened all the freaking golden chests. Bunged it up for myself here. It's not like it's gonna cost us a win or anything like that, but... We could have had a few different items here. That's... It's not even a rookie mistake. It's just a dumb play. Alright. Let's beat uh, Blue Baby, like, instantly here. That is just staggering damage. And yeah, man, 32 minutes here. When I'm pretty sure we were at like 26, 27 by the time we even got down to the womb. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.